Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video, we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing and a review of the Rock Doc from Rockform. This is for the iPhone 5. I don't see why it wouldn't work with the iPod Touch 5G as well. I'll get into that later in this video, but first we'll just do a quick run through of the box itself. First thing you're gonna notice when you get this thing is it's freaking heavy. It probably weighs about two pounds, I think. So this is a aluminum dock, as you can see right here. It's CNC machined, uh, 6061 grade aluminum, and it is made in the USA along with all of uh, Rockform's products. So that's a very cool feature that it's actually 100% you know, manufactured in the US. Uh, some other information on the back. You got branding on the bottom and a picture of the top of the dock on the very top of the box right there. So I don't wanna bore you guys with the actual box. Let's just get into this. So first thing you're gonna see is you actually get a double-sided Torx kind of tool right here. This is to take the dock apart because you will need to uh, basically disassemble it and uh, put in your own lightning connector. The lightning connector is not supplied with this dock. So that's just a Torx bit. And then you do have this foam piece for protection. Next we got a little booklet basically explaining how to take the dock apart. And here is the dock. This thing is seriously awesome. So let's go ahead and just slide this out of here. Now I actually went with the flat black or the matte black finish. Uh, they do come in various colors and I believe they do come with a shiny finish as well if you don't like you know this kind of matte look to it. I really like the you know black on black. It's really stealthy looking and it just kind of complements my desk. So I guess we'll just do a quick run through of the design of the dock itself now. So starting out on the top of the dock as you can see it's got a huge large opening to fit your iPhone in. Uh, that's one of the best features of this dock is you can actually use it with uh, just a ton of different cases which is really cool. That way you don't have to worry about taking your phone out of your case just to put it in the dock. That's one of kind of my uh, annoyances of most other docks is you actually have to remove the case just to dock it. You also do have the two ports here for your speaker and microphone and uh, you have the hole in the middle for the lightning connector and then this little back, uh, back plate piece right here which is kind of like a soft plastic. Uh, and this will allow you to adjust uh, the back so that it can, you know, support different cases or no case at all. So if you don't have a case on it, you can just kind of leave it right there, push it in, and then it will, you know, hold the back of the phone. And uh, this is why I say I think it would work with an iPod Touch 5G, simply because you can adjust this, like, literally all the way up to about right right there so as you can see that's a pretty thin opening I don't see why an iPod touch would fit but it is specifically meant for the iPhone 5 and then on the front of the dock you do have the branding rock form right there and as you can see in uh, letters right there made in the USA going to the side pretty much plain other side matches plain and then on the back here as you can see there's that little tiny hole that's where the uh, lightning cable will come throughout the back and then on the bottom as you do see you have four anti-slip rubber grips which is very very grippy you got the uh, Rock Dock branding and then three different screws which you will have to take apart to get the lightning cable in. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the lightning cable into the dock itself. So obviously you need the Torx tool that came with the dock. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And we're just basically going to remove the three screws to uh, take the whole dock apart. And this is the bigger Torx bit so we're going to go ahead and remove those screws. And now once you have all three screws removed the whole dock will come apart. So let's go ahead and take off this bottom kind of plate first. Put that aside and then this will come apart just like so and the first thing you're going to want to do is actually feed the lightning cable through the big hole in the middle right there just like that and then put that piece aside and then the next thing you're going to want to do is actually put the lightning cable through the smaller hole of the top piece right here just like that and actually feed it through and now what you want to do is actually take your device uh, with whatever case you might have on it. I do have the Rock Shield V3 on my iPhone 5 right now. Go ahead and actually plug it in and then we're going to slide it through the dock here and just line it up so it lines up real nice and straight just like so. And then you can just check to see if it's nice and straight in there. This looks pretty good lining up with the ports and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and take that Torx bit again and use the smaller Torx. And then if you flip this piece over As you can see, there's a little screw right here that'll tighten the lightning cable into this top part of the dock. So just go ahead and very slowly tighten this in there. I wouldn't, uh, you know, tighten this too much because it would probably crack the lightning cable. So I'm just tightening it just a little bit. 
just to see that it's still straight. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lift up just very slightly, just like that. So that there's a little bit of free play with it, uh, depending on what case I might have on my iPhone. And we go ahead and tighten in the lightning cable. And like I said, don't tighten it too much because you'll probably crack your lightning cable. And then once it's nice and tight, go ahead and remove your device. And the cable is in there. And then we can go ahead and slide the bigger piece here. Slide the cable through. I'm going to go ahead and flip over the dock. And I'm just going to lay it back down. And as you can see, there's this little groove right here. So you basically just run the cable in that groove. And there's also a groove on the uh, bottom plate here. So we can go ahead and just slide that into place until it's flush. And then all you got to do is put the screws back in. And then voila, you're done. Go ahead and flip it over. Take your device and make sure it docks. Just like so. Now, like I said, one of the coolest features of this dock is the ability, you know, to dock your your device with just a variety of different cases. It makes it very, very convenient. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work with the OtterBox. The OtterBox is just too big and bulky. I couldn't get it to fit properly, but uh, most other cases it will work perfectly fine with. Uh, especially, obviously, the the Rock Shield V3 for the iPhone 5 itself. Uh, they all work very nicely, and it's you know it's got weight to it, so you can easily undock your device one-handed. You don't have to worry about you know holding down the front end just to pull your device out, which does get annoying with other docks I've had. And it's just an all-around awesome-looking dock, in my opinion. It's just the flat black. You know, it looks stealthy. It looks very unique. Uh, it it complements my desk. Just a very very cool dock. Now, if you guys want to check out different colors or pricing, I'll leave the link down in the description, so be sure to check that out. And that's going to be basically it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Rock Dock from Rockform. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That does help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more reviews and jailbreak stuff or anything that has to do with your iOS device, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.